In the Duck Festival Pavilion, visiting with the 2021 reigning Queen Miss Jordan Fuquay. Jordan, so glad to make it out here today. Well, of course, you're going to be here all weekend. We're so excited to be back and better than ever for our 46th, 46th year. And last year we had a, a little bit of some complications with, you know, a hurricane. We, we don't want to say that word too loud. But we're back this year and you guys are so excited and lots of fun things planned. So I guess this might be a hard question, but what are you most excited about for this year's Duck Festival? Oh, that would be a hard one. There's so many things to look forward to. We have the dog trials at the old festival grounds tomorrow at 8 a.m. We have our ski shooting competition tomorrow. We have our senior queen's pageant where I will be passing on the crown, and we add another ducky to the mix, and we'll be able to watch her be a walking, talking billboard for the next year, a spokesperson for the Gate on Duck Festival. So they'll have her, um, so I'm excited to be able to meet her. And speaking of the pageant, while we're on the topic, why did you decide a year ago to compete for the Duck Festival Queen title? Sure. So I'm a fourth generation duck hunter and the first woman in, in my family to hunt. My family's been hunting since the late 1800s. My dad started me when I was actually three years old, if you can believe it or not, <laughs> a little girl with blonde pigtails wrapped, <laughs> wrapped up in camouflage. He had me out there. and. It was just an honor to be able to come up here and honor my family's legacy and the traditions that they had incorporated in my life. And my grandfather actually passed away last year, so it was really in tribute to him as well. I love that. So it's kind of a family thing. Your family kind of encouraged you to do this. And, and you won. You have been the face of the Duck Festival for the past year. And we'll be passing it on tomorrow to another lucky lady. And entertainment, of course. We can't have a festival like this without the food, which we did talk a little bit about, and the entertainment. Who do we have playing tonight here at the Duck Festival? Tonight we have Gerald Grunig. We have Jamie Bergeron and Chubby Carrier and Bayou Swampland. You guys know that name, Gerald Grunig, News 10's very own. He'll be kicking things off at 6.30. We will later on in the show give you guys a little bit of a schedule of um, this weekend's entertainment for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And let's talk about a little bit more about Sunday. How are you guys going to wrap everything up here at the Duck Festival? We will have some bands playing on Sunday as well. Um, and then we're going to wrap it up. So actually this year our Gate on Duck Festival duck calling competition and the state's Duck Calling and Goose Calling competition is going to be back here in Gaydon October 9th. So it's another way to be able to bring people back to our community, to the duck hunting capital of America. And we're, like I said, it's going to be October 9th at the Gaydon Civic Center. There we go. And any last words for our viewers here today? Sure. Grab your waders, set your wings fly, and fly like a teal to the celebration of all things duck. I am the 2021 Miss Gaydon Duck Festival Queen, Jordan Brooke Fuquay. Jordan, thank you so much for joining us today. You guys get out here to Gaydon for the Duck Festival. You can learn more at duckfestival.org.